Hello and welcome to the Turn by Turn podcast. Today we have something different for you. We are going to be doing an RPG trivia contest. If you're a long-time listener, you will already know our contestants. First off, we have my very knowledgeable co-host, Chris Harkey. Hello, I'm here to answer questions, I hope, and do things, and I'm normally here, so hi. Chris was the perfect person to ask because he's already a part of the show, and he knows more about video games than I do, so... It was obvious that I should be the host and he should be the one answering questions. Is one of the questions, uh, does Pokemon Black version exist? It's not, but it should. Okay. (laughs) Gale of Darkness. Next up, we have the sinister game designer himself, Craig Stern. Hello, thanks for having me on. I hope to not embarrass myself too badly. (laughs) Craig is the creator that we spoke with for the Telepath Tactics Liberated episode. And last... Maybe least, I guess this will answer that. We have the Bosch Rush RPG genius, Dan Murphy. Hey, thanks for having me back on the show. Dan was on our Bravely Default 2 episode, which is the best 9 out of 10 episodes we have. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, yeah, it wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> so to set up our RPG trivia show, we are going to have five chapters worth of questions because with RPGs, you have chapters and a slow pace. So to keep the pace slow, rather than having buzzers and things that would be wildly complicated to figure out over Zoom, we are going to have a rotational order. So the question order is going to be Craig, Chris, and Dan. Like every good trivia show, there's a complicated system of advantages, but we've tried to pare it down so it's not too confusing. So Craig, Chris, and Dan each have three skips, steals rather, and... If one of them gets a question wrong or doesn't know the answer, the other two have the power to steal it. And each of them have the three steals. If they want to save all three steals for the very last round of questions, they can steal the final questions as long as nobody knows the answer. So there there could be some serious points at the end of the game if you save your steals rather than early on. And that is our basic rules. And I think... If you guys don't have any questions, we can get started. My, my okay. only question I still don't understand is, with the steals, do we go in that rotation, or do I have to quickly say I want to steal? So it will be in that rotation. Okay. So if you don't want to steal it, then Dan gets the option to steal it. Yeah, Continue. I just want to say that I think these rules are better than buzzers, because this way it's turn-based, and <laughs> clearly I have the highest speed stat. <laughs> Yet to be determined. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was just thinking because we don't have a, what's it called, a rollback net code or anything. So, like, it would make things uh, a lot harder <laughs> fight, fighting game jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the new Game Plus version of the, this trivia show is going to be terrible. You, you already have the answers. So, <laughs> 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 um, not a lot of love there, but. Uh, It sounds like we are good to go. Chapter one, surface level questions. Each of these questions are worth one point each. And there are nine of them for chapter one. So, Craig, who is the main character in Fire Emblem Three Houses? Uh, That would be Byleth. Yes, that is correct. One point for you. Chris, what is Mother known as outside of Japan? Uh, That would be Earthbound. Or what is Earthbound? <laughs> that is correct. Uh, we we can hold off the ceremony of special answers. <laughs> All right, I was just doing that so that uh, when I don't know the answer and I'm throwing out a guess, it still sounds official. Okay, well, the, then free, feel free. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> All right, next up is Dan. What is the name for magic in Golden Sun? Oh, I've actually never played Golden Sun. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> no? Do you want to take a guess? Um, uh, if, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Craig, would you like to steal that one? Of course. What is the name for magic in Golden Sun? Oh, uh, I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll take that one. I believe that's a synergy. 
Ooh. With a with a P, yes. 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 Why? All right. So yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. I just assumed it was pronounced like that. Synergy, psi energy, whatever. You got it. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> you, you, said, you said the P, which I think is like the kicker for that particular question. So I'm pretty sure that's what the fans call it, right? Matt synergy with a P. Like <laughs> that's how you pronounce that. So you have officially used your one steal and you now have two points. And now we're actually back on to you. So, Craig, your next question is, what year was Chrono Trigger released? Oh, geez. <clears throat> it was definitely, I'm pretty darn sure it was before 1995. I'm, in my mind, it's like kind of right around Final Fantasy VI, which I remember being like 1993-ish. I don't know. I'm just going to guess 1994. Ooh, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Chris, would you like to steal? No, I don't know years. <laughs> I don't know what year it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan, would you like to try to steal? Yeah, 1995. All right, that is correct. Ah, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I remember getting it for my eighth birthday, so. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just had to do easy math in my head. That would not be easy math for me. <laughs> All right. Next question is for Chris. And is Adam the main villain of Bravely Default 2? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> this is a true or false. Um, I've not played that. So I'm going to say no. That is correct. Hey, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Adam, a villain in Bravely Default 2? The main villain. Oh, the main villain. Gotcha. I thought you just said a villain. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait a minute, I object. <laughs> <laughs> if you object, we go into private counsel to discuss what needs to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, Dan, you have the next question. What was the original name of the Dragon Quest franchise? I don't know. I'll pass. Craig, would you like to try to steal? You know, I know what Dragon Quest 1 was called when it was released in the U.S., but I don't know if that's the answer to the exact question you're asking, so I will also leave it. Chris, would you like to, to steal? Sure. I have the exact same explanation as Craig. Uh, so I'm just going to go out on a limb and take that. Was it Dragon Warrior? Yes, that is cool. Ah, okay. You have turned your steel into a point. Um, all right. Next up is Craig. And what type of RPG is Shining Force? Um, I believe you're referring to the strategy RPG subgenre. Yes, that is correct. All right, next up is Chris. Which Pokemon is the mascot for the series? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> you ask me if a specific character is the main villain of Bravely Default 2, and then you, you ask me who is Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I wanted to make it, like it gets significantly harder. But Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure the mascot of Pokemon is Pikachu, and that is after, uh, I'll, I'll make it a little harder on myself, that is after it was supposed to be Clefairy, and they decided that Clefairy was not marketable enough. Chris, this game does not have bonus points, but thanks for putting that out there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's funny, I didn't know that. It makes sense, though. <laughs> yeah, good to know. All right. So next up we have Dan and your question is who is the protagonist of Final Fantasy 7? Cloud Strife. Final answer. Yes, that is Finally got one. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. So at the end of chapter 1, Craig has 3 points, Chris has 4 points, and Dan has 2 points. So, chapter 1 has ended. So there needs to be a story interlude, but we don't have that. So we're going to go right to chapter two, which is basic details. And there are also nine of them. So we'll be starting again with Craig. Who are the four main characters in Earthbound? Oh, boy. Uh, going to be honest with you, I have not played much of Earthbound. I know about Ness. That's pretty much all I've got. Sorry. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, Chris, would you like to steal? No, but I'll contribute part of an answer to Dan. I know one of them is named Pooh. Because <laughs> I found that funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Dan, Dan can have that. Uh, I That was the one I was going to contribute. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass as well. All right. So y'all know Pooh about this question in a very literal sense, actually. Um, <laughs> the correct answers were Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. So no points awarded and no skips lost. So our next question for Chris are, who are the main character siblings in Fire Emblem Sacred Stones? That would be Erica and Ephraim. All right. Point awarded. Question number three for Dan, which these are horribly falling for you, my friend. Um, what character floats away in a huge storm at the beginning of Golden Sun? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Pass. All right. Craig, would you like to try to steal? Oh, man. Uh, I don't know this one. Sorry. Chris, would you like to try to steal? I do not know either. All right. So also, not played Golden Sun. The dead point is gone, and the correct answer was Felix. Mm. That was my second guess. <laughs> After now, if you were going to ask, you know, who is the Sundara swordsman in Three Houses, I could have uh, guessed Felix correctly for that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Craig, your next question is, who is the chief character designer for Dragon Age? Dragon Quest, rather. My bad. Oh, okay. I was going to be like, wow, that's, that's a really advanced one. I don't know that one. Uh, that would be uh, Akira Toriyama. Yes, point awarded. All right, now, Chris, in the Wise series, who is the protagonist? The Wise series? Like wh- like the letter Y. Oh, yes, I think. Oh, Ys. Ys, I don't know. <laughs> Weiss, yes, I don't know. I don't know, yeah, I don't know how to say that. Um, I think it changes every game, does it not? I believe there is one central character. As far uh, as I'm gonna me to believe. Uh, I'm gonna go with Mr. Y, Mr. East. I don't know. Mr. Y, Mr. East. I don't know was not the correct answer. <laughs> Dan, Shocking. Dan, would you like to steal? I've only played eight and nine, and I'm trying to think of. Uh, I'll take a swing at it. I think it's eight all. A D O L. That is correct. You have used your first steal and gained a point as the result. All right, now it's back to you again. So, Dan, your next question is... (laughs) You're getting some real tough ones. (laughs) Great. (laughs) What specific gameplay style is Batten Kaitos? I've, I've never heard of that game. I'll pass. All right. Craig, would you like to steal? I mean, I know Batten Kaidos really well. I'm not really sure what the question is asking, though. Um, well, like, what, like, what's the type of RPG? The so, type of RPG. I mean, I mean, it's a it's a JRPG with a uh, deck building card battle system that occurs in, I think, real time, if I remember right. Yes, that is correct. Card okay. and deck based. So that's another point for you. And another skip gun. You mean another steal gun? Yes. I don't know why I keep calling it skip. I made this up. I should know it. Um, (laughs) (laughs) All right. So our next question is actually back to Craig again. Who is the main character of the Xenoblade Chronicle games? These should be my questions. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you know, I haven't played any of the Xenoblade Chronicle games. I'm... Pretty sure I know who the main character of the first one is. Uh, I, I can by confirm virtue. that one does change for every game. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're talking the first game. Specifically the first game. Okay. Definitively uh, the first game. Purely on the strength of my knowledge of Smash Brothers, I'm going to go with Shulk. <laughs> yes, that is correct. All right. So our next question goes to Chris. In Pokemon, who are the Gen 4 starters? 
Oh, okay. So Gen 4 would be that's diamond and pearl and platinum. So that's going to be Chimchar, Turtwig, and Piplup. Yes, that is correct. All right. Yes. And next up is Dan, who I'm actually feeling pretty terrible that I've given him some of the way harder ones. <laughs> um, maybe that'll swing in his favor in the second round. So our final question for chapter two is, in Tales of Symphonia, Colette is the blank. Oh, man. Uh, I'll pass. Yeah, I'll pass. I, I haven't played that game in so long. I forget everything about it. You should you should still take a guess at it. It's going to be protagonist, probably antagonist, or <laughs> deuteragonist. I don't know. Or maybe don't listen to someone putting ideas out there right now if you want to guess. <laughs> I don't... Mm, I, I really just don't remember at all. I'll just pass. All right, Craig, would you want, do you want to use your last steal? Colette. Do not. Chris, would you like to use your last steal? I've never played this game, so definitely not. All right, then no points awarded. The correct answer was the chosen one. In that S- bring... Still doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> <laughs> really good you didn't answer. Yeah. Uh, if, if I had been given that question, I absolutely 100% would have answered the collector. <laughs> Just purely to make a pun out of it. And that's why we asked you to be on the episode. <laughs> All right. So that wraps up chapter two with a current score of Craig has eight. Chris also has eight and Dan has four. Craig has one skip left. Chris has one skip left and Dan has two skips left. And you by mean skips, steals. I mean steals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need to make this less complicated next time or write it somewhere larger. (laughs) So we're going to jump to a quick break. And when we come back, we will continue on our game. Bye. Hey there, podcast listeners. I am David. And I'm Kate. And together we host a podcast that you might be interested in if you like The Legend of Zelda. There are lots of awesome podcasts out there and a lot of awesome Zelda podcasts (laughs) out there. That's right, Kate. And we are another one of them. In fact, that is the name of our show, Another Zelda Podcast. And in our show in particular, we talk about some of our favorite dungeons, characters, boss battles. We do a couple top ten lists here and there. We have some deep dive episodes and we even pepper in a couple quiz episodes. Episodes. We talk about our own experiences, we do some review episodes, talk about our challenges, our struggles, and our victories. That's right. If it has to do with The Legend of Zelda, we talk about it. You can check out our episodes on our website, anotherzeldapodcast.com. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and a lot of the other podcast services that are out there. And you can also check out our episodes on our website, anotherzeldapodcast.com. All right. We will see you there. Okay, bye! Hey, you. Come over here. Uh, Who, me? Yeah, you. Okay. Hey, do you like Zelda? Yeah, I like Zelda. Who doesn't? Oh, yeah? You like video games? Yeah, I dabble. I play them, yeah. Yeah. Do you like listening to people talk about video games? Of course I like listening to people. Who reads anymore? Well, 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 buddy, do I got a podcast for you. It's called Fan Fiction, you know, with an X. Oh. And you can find it on all your major podcast distributors. That sounds amazing. Oh, buddy, you have no idea. One question, though. Why are you in my room? All right, we are back from our break. Everybody's rested. Everybody's binged five minutes straight of research and recording. Everyone's read the Tales of Symphonia w- wiki, so they're ready to go. Daniel, I, I have a complaint. Yes. We were out of peanuts in my dressing room. Oh, um, 
you're the only other person on staff so that like i wrote like wrote most of this so i feel like that's on you <laughs> uh, i guess it is <laughs> And you're not welcome back for the next trivia episode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So chapter three is tough questions. Each question is worth four points each. And again, there are nine questions in the tough category. All right. We are again are starting with Craig. What is the name of the Black Knight's sword in Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn? A Londite. Yes, that is correct. All right, Chris, your next question. Kefka is the main villain of which Final Fantasy game? Oh, no. Uh, is it three? N- no, it is not. Um, Chris, would you like to steal? Yes. Would oh. it be to me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I will happily steal that and say Final Fantasy VI. That is correct. You have successfully stolen a point. All right, on to the next question, which is for you again. What is Joker's Phantom Thief codename in Persona 5? Pass. (laughs) Craig, would you like to steal? Um... Yeah, uh, Joker's Phantom Thief codename in Persona 5 is Joker. All right. Point awarded. That was Dan's question, stolen by Craig. Craig, you have no more steals left. Anytime Dan gets it wrong or passes, Chris, you have one steal left, and Dan, you also have one steal left. Nice. So the next question goes to Craig. In Octopath Traveler, who is inspired by Graham Crossford's journal? You know, didn't play Octopath Traveler. I have no idea. Um, I am going to go ahead and guess uh, the the merchant. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Oh, are you cheating? Mm. No. Wow. I just remembered that that was one of the characters and just guessed it. (laughs) No kidding. Wow. All right. But what was his name? (laughs) I have have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) I I have the name written, but um, that question is done. So our next question is with Chris. How many games are there in the Tales series? Oh. God, a million? Uh, that is not quite right. Is that no, the final answer? I'll, no, I'll give I'll give a real guess here. I don't know the answer, but I'm going to guess... Uh, is it 13? I am sorry, that is incorrect. Dan, would you like to steal? Oh. No, I, I'd be guessing. I... I there's like a number that's sticking out to me right now and I I want to say it but I don't want to waste a steal so I'll pass. All right, no points awarded. There are 17. Oh. <laughs> oh. So somewhere between 13 and a million. Well, Chris was <laughs> in the ballpark. <laughs> hey, I would have been right if it was price is right. It's true. <laughs> All right, so our next question is for Dan. Who is Robo's ex-girlfriend in Corona Trigger? Oh, man. Oh. I I don't remember. I'll pass. All right, Chris, would you like to steal? I've even played this one, and I don't remember that. I remember it too, and I just can't. Rem- I have no idea what her name is. I wouldn't know it either. Like I can visualize her. I know exactly who you were talking about. I cannot recall what she's called in the game. All right, since Dan and I didn't get it, Craig, who? What does she look like? Like who are we talking about? Literally, she looks like Robo, <laughs> looks but like I think she's Robo. like pink and has a like a bow on top of her head. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It, it, she had like some robot name. Like I. I it was some odd robot name that I just like can't remember. 
<laughs> yes. So no points awarded. The correct answer was Atropos XR. And of course. Really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just as iconic as Amy Rose or Princess Peach. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Even exactly. hearing the name, I still didn't remember that. No yeah. How can you not remember the XLR L12? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is like screaming at their answers. It's Atropos XR. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Xerox 22 Model B. <laughs> See some guy punching his steering wheel in the car. I knew that answer. <laughs> <laughs> I finally knew one. <laughs> All right. So our next question goes to Craig. How far in the future does Dark Dawn take place after the original two Golden Sun games? Ooh. You know, I played Dark Dawn, and, uh, you know, just from a narrative perspective, it didn't really stick with me, let alone little details like that. I'm just going to guess a thousand years just because that is the uh, the trope. I am sorry, that is incorrect. Chris, would you like to steal? I have a guess that I'll share if Dan does not take it, but no, I'm not going to officially use a steal. I'm going to pass. Yeah, my guess is, is it 12 years? That is also incorrect. So it's good you didn't try to steal. Good. <laughs> the I, I'm trying to remember what you were telling me on that episode. <laughs> you do have a leg up if you listen to our show for some of these. <laughs> but Chris is on the show and that hasn't helped too much yet. So I'm not sure that advantage might be, not mean anything. <laughs> so no points awarded. And we move on to our next question that is... Well, what, what was the answer? Oh, the answer was 30 years later. So again, y- y'all were in the range. Just not quite there. So It was between 30 and 1,000. Or 12 and 1,000. Yeah, exactly. Now that I'm thinking about it, there are characters that were in the original game that are now grown-ups. Guessing 1,000 years was actually really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I didn't remember that. <laughs> In my defense, I never played the first Golden Sun game, so I'm only just now remembering this. You've only played Dark Dawn? I've only played Dark Dawn. It was the only one I could uh, find for the, uh, I think it was for the DS. I was able to order it for the 3DS sometime back. Oh, interesting. Okay. So our next question is for Chris. What is the name of your non-Pokemon friend in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Your non-Pokemon friend, are we talking about the nuisance that is Hop that follows you around? Yes, we are talking about the nuisance that is Hop that follows you around. That we're, is... we're really using the term friend liberally today, aren't we? We are. <laughs> what console was Final Fantasy VII originally released on? PlayStation 1. Yes, that is correct. Woo! All right, that wraps up our chapter three. Craig is currently in the lead, followed by Chris. And Dan is catching up, actually. He had a good good chapter three. So now we move on to chapter four, which is titled Ugg. And (laughs) (laughs) there are six questions for chapter four. And they are each worth five points. So, Craig, who is the primary antagonist of Tales of Symphonia? Uh, I've never played Tales of Symphonia, and I have no idea, so I'm just going to guess uh, Discordio. Um, no, surprisingly not. Um, the correct answer was Mythos Yidrasil. All right, so our next question is for Chris. In Pokemon to date, how many forms of unknowns are there? Uh, 28. That is correct. I thought that was going to be a really hard one, but you answered it like it was nothing. Uh, I just played Legends Arceus, and I remember looking at that and being like, oh, there's 26, and then being like, oh, that's weird. There's not 26. There's punctuation now. (laughs) Oh, I see. So our next question is for Dan. Who needs to take a bath in Shining Force 2? Pass. 
<laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, would you like to steal? I'm playing this right now. Uh, like, have I gotten there? Um, we don't give out hints on this show. No, I'm I'm just thinking out loud. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Daniel is playing this game with me on my YouTube channel, Nihil, uh, if you want to check that out uh, right now. So I'm like, he probably intentionally wrote a question like one chapter ahead of where I am. <laughs> um... Um, I, maybe, maybe not. Again, we don't, we don't play the hint game on the show. No, the only thing I'm thinking is it could be, since Craig doesn't have steals anymore, it could be Elric in the pond, but I don't know if that's what you're talking about. So I'm going to say pass. All right, Dan, would you like to steal? Oh, that was Dan. No. So no stealing. (laughs) The uh, the points are dead. The answer is Jaha. Sarah tells him he needs a bath when he falls off the boat. Ah. Oh, yeah. That was such a minor, like, quip. I didn't even think about that. I told you the chapter and was titled Ugg. <laughs> yeah, it is if I, Ugg. If I would gotten that question, I would have guessed Gerhalt just because he looks like he needs a bath. Who do Shulk and Rain defeat in the Tephra cave? Uh, Tephiroth. <laughs> that is so close but due to your pronunciation we cannot accept that answer chris would you like to steal uh i've got a guess again and no i will not steal all right dan would you like to use your last steal yeah um i think it's the arachno queen yes that is correct that was not my guess. I was going to guess uh, Metal Face. <laughs> I think, I did they fight Metal Face in Tefra Cave later on, or was that a different cave? I've, I not, was, I've not actually played this game. I've only played Xenoblade 2, so I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> and no, they actually did fight Metal Face in a, in a cave, though. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look that up. Different cave. <laughs> All right, so our next question is for Chris. Who is the lead writer for the Dragon Quest series? Uh, the name Yuji Hori is coming to mind. Is that who that is? Is that what you would like to use for your answer? Yeah, that's my answer. All right, that is correct. Hey, there we go. All right. On to our next question, which is for Dan. How does Ness, Ness's father communicate with him? Hmm. I, I don't know. I pass. Chris, would you like to steal? Yes, it is by telephone. Yes, that is correct. You have successfully stolen the points. The reason I know that is because I was confused why his Smash Bros. trophy was a little telephone. (laughs) And I was like, how is that (laughs) Ness's dad? (laughs) All right. So we are on to chapter five, which is our final chapter. The journey ends. And there is one question each, which is worth 10 points. Oh, my gosh. Dang. All of you have used your steel, so... There's obviously no option with which to steal the final question. So the final question is your final question for the game. So, Craig, your final question is, the game Fire Emblem BS was released on the Satellaview. What were the chapters officially titled? Did we lose Craig? (laughs) No, I'm thinking. uh, I have... No idea. <laughs> what were the chapters officially titled? Like, yes. What was the the overarching narrative name? Be like the official name beyond Fire Emblem BS. Oh gosh, <laughs> I have no clue. I'm sorry. No guess. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll guess. Uh, Pray to RN Jesus. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll guess. Is, is it Archanaeus Saga? Yes, that is correct. Mm. But there's no stealing in this round. Yep. So yep. 
I just wanted to see if I could do it. Self praise is all you get. All right. So, Chris, your final question. How many different platforms can Trails of Cold Steel be played on? Uh, okay. I'm not super familiar with this one. I know I'm going to say Switch, PC, PS4, and Xbox, whatever it's called now. So is that four? I'm going I'm to go four. Is that your final answer? I, I have no idea, but that's my final answer. I am sorry, that is incorrect. There are five. Is it Stadia? I'm what? <laughs> is is the fifth one Stadia? Is that is that what I'm not getting? I believe it was PS3 and PS4. Oh, okay. So, kind of kind of a trick question there, but no, that's fair. Yeah, like I said, it has to be hard to end, right? Oh yeah. All right, so Dan, your final question. What end of Chrono Trigger do you basically have to cheat to achieve? What ending of Chrono Trigger do you have to cheat to achieve? Yes, so there's basically 14 different endings. Right. But one specific ending basically requires you to cheat to achieve it. Which ending is it? I don't know how you would cheat to get an ending. I, I pass. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember. All right. Can I, can I take a guess at this one? I think I, think yeah, I know it too. It won't be worth any points, but yes, you may guess. <laughs> is it the uh, the developer's lounge? Uh, yeah, the the programmer's room. Programmer's room, yeah. So do, you, do you know how to get there? Uh, yes, you cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond that, I do. Uh, I think it's, there's like a prologue fight with Lavos, the thing that comes to end the world, and you're supposed to lose that fight, but you can cheat with like, either action replay or just changing the code to give yourself like infinite health or do infinite damage and you can win. And the developers are like, but clearly you're doing something. What? <laughs> I had no idea about this. That's wild. And you end up in like a programmer's lounge, like Craig was saying, and they basically say you're a part of the dream team and that you must have cheated. And so that, wraps up our questions let me try to do math and we will see who our winner is does anyone want to express disdain for me <laughs> <laughs> my, my only question for you daniel is that question about golden sun and when the what the time skip is was that one originally slated to be a dan question too I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was probably supposed to get three more golden sun questions it's funny because I did do it completely randomly. I just made my list of questions and then I just dropped your names in. So Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm embarrassed to have uh to have missed my my final fire emblem question. On the other hand, Satellaview, right? Who is I that? don't I don't even know like why I know that. Like it was just something that popped out to me that I was like, that was the title of something, and I don't know what it was the title of, so it's probably some nonsense like that. <laughs> While Daniel's tallying, do you? Uh, I'll I'll go ahead and throw another fun fact out there. Um, I think one of the most ridiculous recruitment uh, things ever is in BS Fire Emblem. Are, are you aware of this? No, but it's appropriate yeah. if it's BS Fire Emblem. Yeah, uh, so there's an old man on the enemy team that has, like, a unique name and portrait, but, like, he doesn't really say anything. And apparently the way you get him, to, uh, the way you recruit him to your side is you, the level starts and you do nothing and you just wait for 30 real-world minutes and then his color changes from red to blue and he's on your side. <laughs> and there's no That's dialogue. Ludicrous. He says That's nothing. Amazing. It just happens. <laughs> Wow. Awful. That's a that's some shows Okaga nonsense right there. Isn't it though? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Believe it or not, we have a tie. Ah. Chris and Dan. So Craig had 20 points. Chris has 22 points and Dan has 22 points. I had 22. Wow. 
So you did <laughs> so much better in the later rounds. It kind of made up for the fact that you sort of bombed out the first half. Essentially, <laughs> <laughs> that happened to you. All right. So uh. that requires one super mega ultimate impossible question that I will need a second to figure out. So hang, hang tight. What was the retail price of the Satellaview when it first launched December 21st, 1994? Oh, my gosh. Uh, you said 1994? In 94. Ooh, we could make this like a price is right type of question. <laughs> that is what we will do. Okay. Um, not counting inflation and that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I assumed not. Um, I'm going to go with a hundred and like a hundred and sixty thousand yen like is that the right conversion is that about a hundred and fifty dollars so you want to say a hundred and fifty dollars uh you know i'm gonna go out on a limb and say this tell if you is stupidly expensive and that's part of why it didn't do very well so i'm gonna guess 175 dollars 175 dollars all right dan what is your answer I would have thought it'd be more, right? Like, wasn't this of Teleview supposed to be, like... Good? Yeah, it was supposed to be good. <laughs> um, and I I think, like, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis were, like, around 200 or 250. I'll say 225. I think you've got it on this one. 25. All right. Drum roll. <laughs> The proper answer is 150 US dollars. Wow. Our champion currently holding the the wrestling belt is Chris. Hey. Hey. Lego. Hey. Before. Wow. Yeah. No, I would have, I would have uh, guessed kind of in the 200 range. That's really cheap. The, the yeah. reason I went 175 was that it is not a standalone console. It's an add-on. So I was like, you already wow. need the $200 thing to play this. Mm. What would be some ludicrous amount <laughs> to explain to a parent that this is an add-on? Nice. So That's I was funny. like, 175 is absolutely ridiculous for an expansion or a rumble pack, essentially, to a parent that doesn't know anything. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for playing. I really appreciate it. I had fun. <laughs> yeah, this is a good, good time. This is a good time. Thanks for having me. We'll definitely do another one if people seem to like this one. So <laughs> we are on Apple Podcasts at the Turn by Turn Podcast. And where can they all find you guys? We'll start with Craig. Uh, you can find me at sinisterdesign.net. That's where I uh, have all of my game stuff. And if you want to check out my latest game, Telepath Tactics Liberated, uh, you can just go to telepathtactics.com and it'll redirect you right to the Steam Store page. Right. Dan, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at DCDM99 and um, check out my articles where I'm a copy editor at www.bossrush.net. All right. And Chris, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at Chris underscore Harkey, or because I uh, shouted it out in the episode, you can find me on YouTube uh, at Nihil, N-I-H-I-L, where I am probably playing either Shining Force or Fire Emblem or something adjacent to that. I am often, often with Daniel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you everybody so much for coming on the show and we will talk to you again soon. Bye.